Take 644. Maguire's Motor X coming up. Melbourne Showgrounds, May 6 and 7. We're here with Peter Fitzpatrick. Knows a thing or two about building the show car and yeah. going to shows and winning a few trophies in your time, mate. Yeah, I've done a few, mate. Yeah, we've been to uh, every Motor X, so um, uh, not always an entrant, but I think uh, about 18 of them out yeah. of the 20. Because even as a, as a spectator, it's a, it's a, you know, I was about to say it's a wild event, but it's wild in terms of how many cars and how spread out. It just never ends. It's uh, and um, everyone says, "Oh, is it going back to Sydney?" Or, um, I think Melbourne, um, even though we've got to travel like <laughs> six and a half, seven hours to get there, um, I think Melbourne is actually a better venue because yep. the way that it's spread out in Melbourne. Um, a few people have said to me, "Oh, we're going to Motorex," and I said, "You need to go for both days. If, if you yep. go for one right. day, you're going to miss out on a heap, yep. heap of stuff because." You go up to the trade hall, you can spend a day there just looking at all, yep. the, all the new stuff, which is just unbelievable. And all the halls, I just think it's yeah. probably one of the best setouts um, for motorists. It becomes like a little, it's almost, it becomes like a little suburb, you know, because it's got this big main street that you can, and with Real Street parked there and so many, you know, great street cars, the beauty is people can come in, you know, park their car and then be a spectator for the rest of the event. Their car's inside the event, they don't have to park far away, so Real Street's great for that. Yeah, I mean, and there's some really tough cars down in Victoria. Yeah. Um, there's some, <laughs> yeah, there's, a, there's some, some, some animals there. Who yeah. Might, um, yeah. So, and it's really good looking at, at the street cars because, like you said, they're all there. So there's plenty of cars and plenty of stuff to look at. What's going to be great to look at is Show Car Hall of Fame. The FC's making us trip down over the border. Yeah, it's pretty great to be invited back to Motorex because um, well, this is the first time that the FC has actually been invited back to Motorex because um, when we went in 2010 um, for Car of the Decade, uh, they basically said, you want it now, don't come back. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Yeah, and people would have seen the car, you know, at some nights before and other Motorex, but now's your chance to come to Motorex in Melbourne and check the car out up close. And I said this to Mick Fabar and I think Les as well, Les Laurie, that how cool to have all you guys there too. The crowd's going to be there. I'm sure there's plenty of people going to want to come and say good day and talk about the car because that's what car people do. Yeah, and you know, like um, all in the one room. That's the you know, it's, it's just wild. Yeah, it's going to be pretty amazing with all yeah. the guys. You know, like um, I seen Les's car when it was first unveiled um, at, at, at 2000 at the first summon. Uh, first summon. That's no, it wasn't summon. That's <laughs> beep. Take <Yeah>. twenty. <laughs> <laughs> at the uh, first Motor X, yeah. um, and it, it was sort of a game changer. Like, yeah. It was awesome. And then um, again, when we had a few cars there, and then then, then Mick brings the swoop along, and then you, yeah. you look at that that engine bay and the components in that car, and I, I said, "Mate, yeah, thanks a lot." So um, because it was just the phenomenal. game just keeps going like, yeah. and it, and it's you know it's inspiring to see um, some a lot of the new stuff, and you know we got some good young builders in the in the country at the moment, so yeah. um, it, it's really good, you know, all of the older blokes, you know, um, coming bringing our cars back, that's cool too. So it'll be it'll be a good thing. So. For those who don't know, maybe tell us a little bit about the car, the running gear, and the and what they can you know expect if they've never seen it before. Okay, if you haven't seen it, it will be about five people, I think, that we, you know. That was... <laughs> yeah, 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 you might, might have been hiding under a rock if you haven't seen it, I don't know. So, I mean, the car's been on the scene since um, you know, since way back in 1991 when we, um, when we took it to the summer, that's, that's its first inauguration. So then we um, we changed the car in 2000 to the second one, and then 2010, like it is there now. So. So it's running a twin turbo 440 small block um, with a two speed race glide, um, two track rear end. So basically all built here in the shed behind us um, where I'm doing my next project out there. So Which we might get a look at if we're lucky. Yeah, another, <laughs> F, another FC, but it's a wagon this time. So um, yeah, the, basically the car was, was all hand built here by myself. Um, the boys helped out a bit here and there. Um, yeah, so 
if you want to know anything about the car, just if you see me flat around Motorex and just come and say good day, and I'm, I'm only too willing to, uh, to run you through whatever you, whatever you need to know. That's it. I volunteered Mick for bar to take a lot of questions from <laughs> from everybody too, and he was more than willing. He's really excited. You know, he's been thinking about it too. You, everybody. There's so many cars coming. What do you reckon we might have a bit of a look at the next project, maybe something like Yeah, we can we can give you a bit of a sneak at it. There's, there's, there's also this car that's won a lot of Motor X too, that's right. Yeah, we got we, we, we went to uh, Motor X and won a won a trip to Motor X with the with the thirty four. Yep. Um, there's a project there behind that Daniel's truck that we're doing, so um, yeah, you, you gotta keep mucking around, so <laughs> that's keeps it. you off the street, so <laughs> that's it. Keeps you sane or insane, one of the two, so at the next project that yeah unveiling future, the unveiling future. <laughs> yeah okay this is me uh, next project yeah wow so fc wagon fc wagon yeah so this is probably a little different to the last one but um yeah this is going to be a, a street car uh, we, a, a driver so well not the fc is not a driver I, I do drive it as well but um yeah. i can this will be able to drive it anywhere yeah, anytime. Yeah. clock up the yeah. k's on a big run or something yeah like that. yeah yeah do that so yeah um she'll have a turbo rv30 yep. manual yep. um yeah with a gdr godzilla rear end in it so so as you can and i really like this new front setup it's like it's, it'll handle no doubt awesome yeah, yeah, it's um, uh, all the suspensions. Um, Lovell supplied all the suspension for it, so it'll 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 handle as well as go could. So um, I'm looking forward to putting it yeah. around the track or something. So Has a wagon been a bit of a dream for a, for a, for a long time? Um, I've always liked the wagon. It's just really hard to find a good one. Yeah. Um, this one came from Mackay and had been sitting okay. in a shed for 30 years up there. So um, yeah, it'll be it'll be something different. I think you know. And I've got a bit of a soft spot for FCs, as you know. <laughs> so they're pretty cool cars. Yeah. Uh, you know, as in a classic car, they're you know the the chrome and all that on them. You sort I was of about to say, and it looks like you're going to get it. Sit, you know, all your cars sit really nice. Yeah. So no, dark with the chrome and the. Yeah, yeah, I'll have it sitting down on uh, on the ground fairly well. So yeah, um, yeah you got to have them sitting like uh, like they look like they're going to hunk to the ground. So yeah. You know, like all the modern cars, they you know they're all sitting down on the ground. So yeah, yeah, you have it down and the wagons look cool too when they're nice and low and you know it's going to have yeah. a nice six-cylinder noise, like turbocharged yeah, six-cylinder yeah. noise it'll, to it and nice hunky independent rear. So it'll it'll uh, you know no doubt yeah look good in play too because uh, I did remember you told me off camera you'd like to do a couple of track days or something in this. Yeah, I I wouldn't mind track whacking it around the track and just see how yeah. it goes because it um, it's got all the right track suspension in it. So. Yeah. Um, it, it'll handle quite nice, I think. So, well, we hear Wakefield might be coming back, not not far of a drive. <laughs> no, no, Wakefield would be pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just something different to do. So, and um, in here to let everybody know, like Aaron's sixteen hundreds, you know. Yeah, we built two sixteen hundreds in here. And my, yeah. The FC was built in here. This is built in here. Daniel Chev trucks here. So, um, yeah. the the thirty five wasn't. Uh, built here, but it was finished here uh, out where the FC is sitting. Show scene ro royalty right there, mate. Yeah, there's the um, that's the assembly room basically where the FC is sitting because it's the yeah. clean room. So yeah. yeah, memories, mate. You can just picture you know some of the late nights and yeah. let's sort of take away or let's <laughs> have a beer. <laughs> that kind yeah, of stuff. the neighbours don't like it. Listen to the grinder, <laughs> but um, that's life. You know, we get rid of the neighbours if they don't like it. <laughs> I was here first. <laughs> May 6 and 7, Melbourne Showgrounds. Be there. Fitzy will be there with the FC 59. Like. Definitely come and catch up to us all. Yeah. Um, there'll be plenty of us there. Show Car Hall of Fame. It's, right. We've been on a bit of a trip the last few days doing these videos, and I'll tell you what, it's really coming to life that every car's like just ready. And it's, it's amazing to know how far they're coming from, you know, yeah. just the parts we've done, but some of them are coming further. And to be yeah. in the one hall at the one time is a very special moment. And, Webby's been working with everybody to make this happen and a lot of people behind the scenes. So get to Motorex Melbourne Showgrounds May 6, 7. We'll see you there. Yeah, yeah definitely be a one, to, one to remember. I, be I believe so. so. <laughs> Cut. <laughs>